I unlocked three of the rarest achievements in Sea of Thieves. The world of Sea of Thieves is filled with many achievements ranging from simple things like completing tall towers to unbelievably grindy achievements such as completing the Ritual of Flame. In today's video, we tackle three of the rarest achievements in the game with only a 0.4% of players having completed the achievements required to get the title in game. Right now we're trying to complete the last of the Buried Treasures commendations, being that the final commendation, the Beholder of Buried Treasures, is actually one of the rarest commendations in the game, both on Xbox Achievements and Steam. Anyone can argue with me on this, but it is, by statistics, one of the rarest commendations in this whole entire game. And right now we are only three more accommodations away from unlocking it being that we need to bury athena items donate maps to the quest board and create stashes that lead to five treasures on the same island uh the way that we're going to do this quickly is by doing veil voyages because they give a lot of items most of them athena but there are also other items as well and we can also shoot off around to try and find items that we can just bury randomly. Let's begin our Legend of the Veil vale voyage. Oh yeah, I forgot the the dude has a massive monologue. Uh, what are we getting first? Uh, shipwrecks and South Wanderers. Okay, and we can also shoot out to literally any island on the way, so... We go to this one, this small one here in front of us first. I'll leave the boat sailing and I'll just bury any island loot on there. Because then we will get extra maps for that. Hopefully it's not always guaranteed that we will uh, get island loot though. We should. Normally like a storage crate or something. These are all things that actually contribute to what we're trying to do. So... Even if it's things as little as, I don't know, ammo crates. Just anything washed up. If we bury it on that island, it generates a map and we need maps donated. The Where we're going to struggle a little bit is the finishing the creating a stash with five or more items. Because not every island, especially small ones, is going to have all five items that we need. We should be able to do this before we die. Yep. Three gems. Okay. Need one more item for one of the accommodations. It's going to be annoying. It's all good. Let's get him on. I see our boat off in the distance. We're okay. I can hear him. We just... We... What the... What in the autopilot? East. Oh, it went east. I actually read it wrong, but my boat just sailed here. That is crazy. That is a brigantine. Dark Adventure 2. They're probably going to the Fort Fortune. Do you reckon they, they come in? Non emissary. One of them's gonna fire out. I can't let him see what I'm doing. Okay. That's them dealt with. They're going to go do the Fort Fortune. They might come back. They might not. Mm 
Alright. Where are we going next? Sod left this at Snake Island. What we do, we stop back off at Chicken Isle South. Just to bury one more item there, then that's uh, a map with five bits on. There we go. Alright, and then we bury five Athena items here. And that will be five. Alright, let's bury some items here real quick. Cool. So that is another map with five digs on. Let's get moving. Done. That should be that accommodation done. There we go. One down, two more to go. I think we're pretty close on the Athena one now, so... Yeah, we need four more items of Athena. There we go. Awesome. Nice, we've got some more Athena items to bury. I don't know, is this gonna complete one of the... No. Okay, we need one more Athena item. Yeah, the very Athena's items. Need one more. Nice. God, it's been so long since I've done a veil. This actually feels very, very nice. Especially solo. I don't remember it being like this solo, but... Me go, I, my strategy for these is always just to go as close as possible to the fort so the fort can't shoot you as well as the uh, ghost ships. I don't mind about the ghost ships, they're not really an issue at all, to be honest. There we go, all done. Sanka, turn around, and then we can... Uh, Pick everything up. I think that's everything. Okay, it seems only fitting that we uh, we bury the Athena for the last Athena item, and then that's that combination done. Then we just gotta visit islands and bury five items on it. Done, let's go. I'm just excited to never touch the quest board again. <laughs> oh my god, I heard every PvE enemy spawn just now. There we go. Grade 4, Hunter of Sizable... Uh, hider of Sizable Stashes. Gosh, can't get my words out. Now we need five more islands... Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Perfect. Honestly, couldn't be more perfect. Alright, another five done. Another one down. Gosh, this is such a grind. I can't believe I've... <laughs> this is just unbelievably grindy. Oh my lord. I never want to bury a single piece of treasure ever again. Oh my god, one more. One more to go. And that is it. I am never, ever burying a thing in my life again. The quest board can actually get removed from the game. And I would actually... It, it might actually spruce in the game up a bit. Honestly. Unless the quest board changes. Like, or just gets completely reworked. I am never, ever touching that thing again. Every time I spawn in, I'm going to have PTSD. Because boy oh boy was the quest board bait. 
And done. Oh. <laughs> oh. The torment has ended. I am so over this. It is just. Oh my god. Was it worth it? I don't even know. Let me equip the title to show my hardship. No one will even understand. Here it is. Beholder of buried treasures. <sighs> it's over. It is over. I don't have to do a single thing with this map bundle ever again. And, uh... You know, if, if I could bury the map bundle, that would be that would be great. <sighs> but that's it. It's over. The wait is finally over. We go bottoms up.